Hello there! Last year my most popular video by a mile was all about Clinique Black Honey, exploring popular dupes and sharing similar shades I enjoy. I'm really into this colour group and there were some fantastic suggestions in the comments, so welcome to part two! Last time I explored the history of the shade and how it's reached new heights on TikTok. In this episode I'm continuing the Black Honey colour theme by testing some of your dupe ideas and more of my sheer favourites in this brownie berry family. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, very happy to be back working with them again this year. They're the website builder I used to make MatildaOnVideo.com. You can keep up with all of the Black Honey competitors so far in a blog post there. It's still sold out in most places, so let's broaden our berry lip horizons. What are we looking for? A sheer, buildable, deep berry with a raisin, blackberry, plummy personality. Two groups again. First, viewer suggestions. Seven of the most popular or promising you left in the comments, including some colour corrections because you found closer matches, then more personal picks. Seven shade ideas in some of my favourite formulas. Fire up that barbecue again because the whole Black Honey extended family is coming over. Drugstore options like Nivea and Revlon, K-beauty brands, I'm Meme and Remand, and luxury labels like Chanel and Gucci. Part of the appeal of Black Honey is that it looks slightly different on everyone, letting your natural lip colour come through a bit. So while some of the dupes here might look very similar on you, they could come across differently on me. That's not to discredit any suggestions, skin colour and undertones always play a part, and we're more likely to spot the differences when we have lots of colours in context, like this. First, the products that kept appearing in my comments and DMs. The Nivea Japan Rich Care and Colour Balm in Bordeaux, suggested by Anthe and Cordelia, who said it could serve a similar brownie red purpose. A very similar purpose. This is an excellent match, really similar tone, ever so slightly more red to it maybe, a neat thin bullet, a thin feel on the lips too with natural shine. This particular Nivea range is only available in Japan so I picked mine up on YesStyle which ships internationally. The Romand Juicy Lasting Tint in Dark Coconut was recommended by Anthe again and Lady Arrow said it was her favourite deep rose brown. This has an intense sweet fruity scent, luckily it doesn't really last. It feels slightly thick and filmy at first but it wears evenly, unlike a lot of tints that are patchy on me. A little tacky but not unpleasantly sticky, it just keeps that slight sheen. A bit more of a reddy brown like a great bitten stain. The I'm Meme I'm Bare Lips shade Grabby was another strong suggestion, someone said it was an exact colour match. The packaging was encouraging, a lot like the Undone Beauty match in my first video, but the bullet looked a lot more red. Wow, this is like a really funky fuchsia raspberry, so sadly it doesn't fit in the Black Honey family tree for me. Too bright to be here, but a really nice balmy texture. A colour correction from last time, I swatched Glossier Ultra Lip in Ember in the first round, that Olivia Rodrigo mauvey berry that was too much of a deep berry in the end, but Tessa and Hayden pointed out that Cachet is actually the closest fit. Absolutely, right back on track and into a deeper mood again. More of a dark chocolate, but applied lightly it does have a black honey sort of vibe with a comfy balmy feel. Restarting the swatches with more rosy berry suggestions. One of the most popular and promising products that popped up was MAC Luster Glass Lipstick in Spice It Up. Ella mentioned it, then Jay's description sold it to me. A warm, burnt, jammy berry like a more saturated black honey. Bingo! Lovely texture infused with natural oils, a lustrous finish. It's been a little patchy when I build it, so I prefer to layer lightly or blot for a slightly stained effect. Another quick colour correction, last time I swatched Revlon's super lustrous glass shine colour Black Cherry, but again too purpley. Enter Ashlyn, Adri, Cecilia and Nadine to name a few who said Rum Raisin was a better option. A really pretty plum. More soft and rosy than Black Honey, but I'm not mad about it, I like the direction this colour group is heading in. See my 2021 makeup favourites for evidence. A couple of you also mentioned Maybelline Colour Sensational Shine in Spicy Sangria. I swatched this one at home when I was playing with shades for the first video, I picked it up during a drugstore shop in the US a while ago, but I didn't include it because it's a much bolder berry. I do find the strong cocoa butter scent a bit off-putting sadly, but thought it was worth including this round so you can see the difference. Time to meet more of my Black Honey-ish collection. A fairly large group, so I'd always hoped to film a second chapter. 
Some of you are mind readers. Melanie said her dupe is the Henne Organics Luxury Lip Tint in Intrigue, and I already had this waiting in the wings. I picked mine up at Credo Beauty in New York. It's a nice smooth balm with a good sheer lipstick level of color. This is close, folks. More brown, yes, but a great muted ready brown and an everyday shade that really fits a fall or autumn mood. Here's one of my favorite sheer lipsticks. Pat McGrath Labs Lip Fetish Balm in Flesh 3 is called a balm. And even though they're really comfy, I've always thought of these as sheer lipsticks because of the bullet shape and firmer feel. Flesh 3 is described as beautifully bronzed and it's a gorgeous, rich, plummy brown on. It looks a lot more red and rosy here in comparison to the other two, but it still fits into the extended family for me. I recently picked out two Pat McGrath Labs Divinal Lip Shine shades as a great gift with purchase on her website and it turns out Flesh 7 isn't a bad fit. I love Pat's Flesh shades across a few of her formulas and Flesh 7 here is a deeper plum, a touch cooler and richer, less red than the Flesh 3 balm above. It feels slightly thicker with a bit more shine but it's not a sticky lacquer. The bullet is quite short so you get a bit more product in the previous balm. A few of you said, wait, you forgot Givenchy Rouge and D Vinyl in Noir Revelateur. Not quite, I did have this in the possible pile for the last lineup. While I'd say it's related to Black Honey in spirit, a sheer, balmy, buildable, near black looking colour designed to deepen your lips, you can see here the reality is much more purpley on me. So cool it borders on blue. Still deserved a spot in part two as it's a chic, bitterly cold winter berry. Another swatch reset because things are getting a bit more brown. Colour correction alert, Alison and Adrian pointed out that Bobbi Brown crushed lip colour Telluride was a better match than Blackberry. Right there with you, I just love this formula so much I needed to stagger the possible shades. It's described as a red mauve and it's a bit mysterious. Red meets brown meets mauve, chocolatey, plummy, however you describe it, it's a winner. Like black honey with a boost. Another colour correction, you lot know your shade ranges. Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in Moment was rightly pointed out to be a better fit than Lust, my previous choice. Big fan of these light, glossy, buildable colours. Moment is warmer than Lust, more red, almost chestnutty in comparison. A couple of swipes is a my lips but better and a bit browner shade on me. A gentle way to work your way into the brownie berry world. Finishing with another one of my ultimate sheer lipstick lines, Gucci's Rouge à Lèvres Voile formula is phenomenal. So light and smooth with beautiful sheer colour and balmy shine. Marguerite Jade is definitely more of a toasty chocolate, yum, but if you stick to one or two swipes it has that deepening effect. Like you're not really sure if it's lipstick or that person just has such a nice natural lip colour. There you go. Hopefully that helps you find the best Black Honey vibe variation to suit your style. I've just updated the running list of Black Honey relatives on my blog, matildaonvideo.com. Squarespace sites are so easy to use. Their toolbox of easy buttons makes it quick to insert text, images, or YouTube videos. I customized most of my website, but I think it might be time for a new look this year, and I love their sleek template designs. If you want to start a blog or website, you can visit squarespace.com slash Tilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. I think I still have the shade options and passion for this topic to film a part three, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I'd love to hear more of your Black Honey histories. Thank you for sharing so many lovely stories last time, and let me know if you've stumbled upon any chic shade matches. Keep those great suggestions coming. Thanks for watching. See you next time.